Okay, so now we have a problem that's a little bit bigger. Um, and you might be looking at it and you're saying, wow, there's so much I could do. I could use the multiplication rule. I could use the division rule. I could take care of those negative exponents. How do I know which to do first? And part of that comes from experience. There's more than one way to do this problem. Um, any of the rules, as long as you apply them correctly, can work. Uh, but it's probably easier to do certain things. So that's why I have a couple examples for you. So I'm going to take care of the numerator first. So because they're both m's, I can add those exponents. So I'm thinking m to the 2 thirds plus, and that's a negative 1 third. I know it's really hard to read that on the typing there, but hopefully in the book and web assign, I think you'll be able to see it a little better. But. And then I'm not going to do anything right now with the denominator. And it's a negative 5 thirds. Okay. So in the numerator, I have common denominators. I'm going to go ahead and add those then. 2 thirds plus a negative 1 third is going to be 1 third over m to the negative 5 thirds. Okay, so now I've got a numerator. I've got a denominator. The bases are the same, so I can use that uh, division rule. So I'm going to subtract the exponents. m to the 1 third minus a negative 5 thirds. Well, how do we subtract a negative number? So it's going to be m to the 1 third plus 5 thirds. And then that's going to be m to the 6 thirds. And it's going to be m squared. Yay! All that stuff turned out just to be m squared. Now, is there an easier way to do it? I don't really think so. Um, you can try some other methods, you know, if you're like wanting to Try something else, but okay. So here's another one. Um, and again, we have a lot of things that we could, a lot of rules we could use. And uh, you know, maybe you say, "Oh, I want to take care of the outer exponent first. I wouldn't in this case, but you could and still get the right answer. So you know, your way might be different than mine, but that's okay. We just want to get the right answer. But I'm going to generally look inside the parentheses, and if I can simplify that first, I'm going to do that. So I have, see how I have an m here, and I have an m here? Then I can take care of those exponents. So I'm going to write the 25, 25, and I'm going to have m, it's division, so it's going to be 1 over 6 minus 2 thirds. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the n. It's going to be n to the 11 over 6 minus a negative 1 over 6. And then all of that is to the 1 half. Don't forget that outer exponent. I haven't dealt with that yet. So that's part of the trick is keeping track of everything on these. Okay, now I need to know what 1 6 minus 2 thirds is. So I'm going to get a common denominator here multiplying by 2. So then I get 1, 6 minus 4, 6, and that's going to be negative 3, 6, or that's going to be negative 1 half. Okay? So a little bit of fraction work there. Just kind of do it over on the side. And so I still have my 25. It's not doing anything yet. m to the negative 1 half. And then the 11 over 6 minus a negative 1 over 6. That's going to be 11 over 6 plus 1 over 6. And that's going to be 12 over 6. And that's going to be just a 2. So I'm going to have n squared. And then all of this is being raised to the 1 half. A lot going on in this problem. OK. Now I'd bring in the outer exponent. I've kind of simplified the parentheses, and so I'm going to bring this in, and I have three bases. I have the 25, I have the m to the negative 1 half, and the n squared. So I'm going to have the 25 to the 1 half. I'm going to have the m to, now I multiply those, so it's going to be negative 1 fourth, negative 1 half times 1 half, and then n to the first power because 2 times 1 half will just be 2, or just be 1. <coughs> so I'm 
So I'm multiplying those. All right, now I'm going to think, well, what's 25 to the 1 half? That's the square root of 25. I'll deal with the m to the negative 1 fourth in a minute. And then the n to the first power is just n. Okay, so we're about ready to have our final answer. The square root of 25 is just going to be 5. That m to the negative 1 fourth, that's going to move to the denominator. So it's going to be m to the 1 fourth. And then the n is just going to be up in the numerator. And that's going to be my answer. And it will be very exciting if you get this right in WebAssign. You'll be like so excited. Okay, so a lot of work going on, but just take it one step at a time. There's other ways to do this problem, but that's going to be the answer.